Are you starting the process of looking for a new home? Well, today we're going to share with you the difference between a pre-qualification letter versus a pre-approval letter. That's right. So which one of the two should you choose now that you're thinking about buying a home? Let's break it down. First up, we've got the pre-qualification. Think of it as your warm-up session in the mortgage marathon. This is when you share basic financials with the lender, like your income, your debts, and your assets. But it's not the green light just yet. A pre-qualification gives you kind of like an estimate, a peek at your potential budget, but it's not the golden ticket that's going to take you to home ownership. Now, on to the main event, the pre-approval. This is where things get real. Here's where you share with your lender your tax returns, your pay stubs, bank statements, and ID. In other words, the whole nine yards. So here's the kicker. A pre-approval letter is giving you the VIP pass in a seller's eyes when you go out shopping for your home. So who needs what? Well, if you're going to dip your toes into the market, then maybe just a pre-qualification letter is going to be your friend giving you a ballpark figure to work with. But if you're serious about locking down that dream home, go and get your pre-approval. It is your ticket to a smoother ride when finding the one and submitting an offer. And so allow our team to help you find the perfect home in the Sacramento region. Our contact information is below.